What's going on guys? Today is Friday, September 20th, 2024. And we have 42 days before we launch the All Dreams platform worldwide for amateur athletes. Yes, yes, today the Dreamer Vault Spotlight goes to these young kids on the beach playing soccer that I seen yesterday from the Boca Grande Plaza Mall. They're just playing soccer, and I'm sure these six kids or seven kids or eight kids have some type of dream to play soccer forward in their, their soccer career to high school, to college, and possibly to play in Europe. That's the big dream for a lot of these soccer players is to play in Europe. And also, the Dreamer Vault Spotlight goes to this mom that is filming her son dribbling the basketball and this kid is small and she's already capturing his sports journey and that's the power of the dreamers vault is to have that sports journey in one dedicated place so when this kid maybe he's five years old maybe in 20 it's 2024 so maybe 10 years he'll be 15 she can have all of those moments in one dedicated place in this kid's dreamers vault to see his progression as a basketball player okay if you're a parent and you have an athlete that you're supporting go to dreamervault.com and sign up to become a beta tester because this is going to change the game, okay? We're almost full. We're almost gonna cut it off, but still the uh, platform is gonna be open for everybody. So sign up. We want I wanna connect with you guys. I wanna hear your story. I want to personally show you guys how this works and how it can benefit you, not just for getting support and building a community, but also documenting your sports journey is very, very powerful. Uh, so today is Friday. We've made it through another Monday through today, Friday. And um, man, it's a beautiful day. I'm going to see Blaze play again at three o'clock. It's like 126 right now. So I'm going to watch him play. It's a tournament. And if, if you're not familiar with Blaze, Blaze is an uh, American kid. I'm, I'm good friends with his with his dad. They're, they're from, uh, they live in Atlanta. Well, they don't live in Atlanta. They live in Cartagena and they live in Panama, but they were based in Atlanta. And I met them here in Cartagena and Blaze is a 14 year old. He's a good basketball player. He plays with us and uh, he has a game here in Cartagena with his youth age, with his youth age group okay so that's what i'm going to be doing at three o'clock i've been in the office since 8 a.m working and um man not much going on this weekend steady work or whatever uh i just watched this episode of my first million and it's this guy man he built it's, it's crazy what's happening right it's like when you put something in the universe, like it's crazy how the ideas and things come back and things just come to you or is presenting in your face that would have never been presented, okay? But maybe this episode of this guy that I'm about to tell you about would have been presented, um, but this next thing I would have never even been thinking about, okay? I'm watching this episode of My First Million, and it's a guy that found land in Texas and built like these cabins. And two years later, he sold it for $7 million. Case in point is not him selling the business. Case in point is that it just was out of the blue. Like, like he just went on to land and he just had an idea. He went out, raised the money. In nine months, they had this, uh, like seven cabins or whatever, uh, making them a million, over a million dollars a year, profiting them a half a million dollars a year. Two years later, he sells it for seven million. 
He tells how he goes, how he went about going to get the financing and how he built this thing. And like I said, things just start coming to you. Like, you know, we're going to buy this land, this coast front land uh, here in Columbia for All Dream Sports Academy. And it's refreshing to see things like that, different ideas that we possibly can also do with the land outside of the facilities, the, the complexes, the, you know, the fields that we want to put for All Dream Sports Academy. Now, what else is crazy is this. I get to thinking about, because I'm doing this new pitch deck, and I get to thinking about where my pitch deck journey of All Dream started. And it started in 2021. It's 2024. It's crazy. Because this was a completely different business. Like, it was a completely different business. So I have Emmanuel here, and we're going through uh, talking about pitch deck. And I said, man, look, this was a completely different business, and I want to show you. And this happens right here. Oh my God. Yo, I did this, I did this. that's crazy. This I sent this to somebody. Hold on, I can tell you the date I sent it to him. Let's look. Look at the date. This was sent. This was sent December 28, 2022, which means this was made in 2021 sometime. This was, this was, this was, this, like this, this whole, you know, uh -huh, uh -huh. like, look, that's crazy. All trains operates from a campus on, on 10 acres of land. Yo, on, on that land is state of our corporate offices, production studio, athletic facilities. Yo, come on, man. Yeah. Oh my God. Yo, come on, man. Yo, yo, this is, this is, this is real visionary shit right here. I promise you like, wow, this is my first pitch deck right here, bro. When all dreams, the like when, it, listen, when all dreams had nothing to do with the app. This is the definition of all dreams when I first started it. All dreams is a fashion for good ethical clothing retailer. We, we create sport inspired fashionable streetwear that gives profits to support the dreams of the world's next generation and world leaders. And we scroll down and I'm talking about the vision of having a campus with athletic facilities on acres. Wow. <laughs> Now, it's just, it's crazy to see that because it, it's always been a vision of mine to do this. And then now we have, you know, also the, the application, it was to tell stories and for people to support. So it's crazy that we're almost to this point and it was always there, but now it's specific for athletes and as a founder, and who I am today and why I'm the person to do this and why now all of it is just making sense and just coming to where it's supposed to be. It's, it's the, the irony, right? Um, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. And I will tell anyone, you know, when you have a vision, the only thing that will mess up your vision is if you stop. Because if I stopped and I didn't just continue to go, like, we wouldn't be here today. We wouldn't be here today. So if you have this vision, continue to build on that vision because what I believe that product was going to be is not the product that we have now. Then that product has changed plenty of times. Like, I was so sold on selling dream boxes, right? Like, hey, your kid needs a dream box. I was going to make people get dream boxes because I love that product so much. But in our first version, we don't even have the dream box, right? So continue to iterate, continue to build, continue to believe and continue the consistency in whatever you're building because it's no telling where that is going, where that vision is going to end up. We still have a lot of work to do. We still have a lot of work to do. 
However, it's going to get done. And I'm excited every single day, like I always say, to come into this office and work on all dreams. All right, guys, you guys have a great weekend, and I will tap in with you guys tomorrow. Peace.